Whoa. Guys, this car is so quick. Jeez. Folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna be messing around with our RC cars again. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited, guys. Can't wait to run these cars. It's been a minute. Today, what we're gonna be doing real quick, we're gonna be comparing 10 scale bashing to seven scale bashing. Which one do you prefer, guys? I think I already know which one I'll prefer. And it's highly, highly, highly dependent on your location. But anyway, let's dig in. Let me show you the contenders right now, guys. And let's get to bash and have some fun. Oh, yes. All right, here we go, guys. We got our Limitless V2 GT, our Larlo AK917. Guys, these two cars are not stock. I'm just gonna say that off the bat. They're definitely not stock. This guy is heavily modified. This guy, I would say, is kind of like medium modified. Let me crack open the hood. Let me show you what's underneath and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. All right, let's kick off with the Limitless V2 GT. Uh, this is not a basher at all, guys, but I'm gonna run it on a lower voltage and I'm gonna be checking temps. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> this is a 1721 motor, Castle XLX2. We got a gyro on here, bunch of carbon fiber, bunch of titanium parts guys we have foam tires on here not even rubber tires guys but i'm gonna see if i can get these guys to slide they are trash tires as you can see here not a big deal but we're gonna go ahead and have some fun on seven scale and here goes our our larlo this is our 100 and it should be a 130 mile per hour car but i haven't gotten a chance to take it back out yet um has a gyro on there 150 mpsc we got our stock uh 3900 kv tiny motor we also got foams i have fo i have rubber tires so i'm gonna swap off the rubber tires carbon fiber as well guys and uh the rest of is pretty much stock i had to uh do some adjustments to like suspension and um gearing as well as the uh the diffs but for size comparison guys you can take a look right now there you go that's uh your seven scale and that's your 10 scale that's the size comparison definitely not the most ideal running conditions Woo! here we go boys oh my gosh definitely not the ideal tires guys See if I can get it to slide. It's just, it's just wanted to stay straight, guys. So literally, less than a couple minutes of running, I gotta check the motor temps because yeah, this thing is gonna be boiling. Such a terrible idea running this high-speed motor, but it's okay. It's okay so far. All right, while this is cooling off, guys, <laughs> I'll go ahead and I'm gonna run the R Larlo real quick. Yikes! While the limbless is cooling off in the shade. Whoa! I got full steering now. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's way too much steering. Oh lord! Turn that puppy down. All right, that's better. Oh, guys, this thing is quick, man. Whoa! Goodness. Okay, I've never bashed on this setup, and man, oh man, it is so quick. Look at this thing. It's staying pretty straight. I mean, it, it does have some torque there. Oh. Um. Yeah, it's geared too. It's geared way too high for me to do any drifts or anything. Like, oh, look at this thing bouncing. <laughs> Yo! Guys, remember this thing is only on 3S right now. I only got it on 3S right now, guys. Holy moly. It's bouncing everywhere because look at the suspension. <laughs> the suspension is so super stiff. This is what happens when you run a speed car and bash, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes. Get under the truck. Yes. 
definitely definitely a do as i say not as i do kind of a deal because uh yeah i have these cars geared for speed running and yeah that's what happens when you're not prepared so here's what's gonna happen i'm gonna go ahead and get a speed pass on 4s and 6s for the limitless and i forgot to start the gps look at this i'm still unprepared all right here we go let me get it back and i'll start it up and i'm gonna go ahead and get a quick speed pass in hopefully i don't hit that truck <laughs> track start all right we're moving perfect let me go up here and get that speed pass in guys ah yeah <laughs> This is what you call straight up idleness with your Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna run this sucker on forest. Let me go, let me hop up here. See if I can see better from up here, right? Got my nice range, got everything going. Hopefully I don't break my neck standing up here. Okay, I can see the car. I can see everything. Alright, here we go. oh this car is oh i have the gyro up too high i am a i'm a clown right now guys this is like one of those unplanned videos just how you're having fun with the rc cars guys it's not a whole point i can't see properly what am i doing let me come down i can't see uh, i can't see properly all right here we go turn her around hopefully nothing's in the way let's go Whee! Oh yeah, bring her back. Oh man, I miss running my cars, man. It's been a minute, guys. Woo! All right, here we go. Here we go. Stop. Read. 88. <laughs> yeah, miles an hour. 88 on forest, guys. That's not even anywhere near the top speed I should get on 4S, but of course, we're just out here having some fun. That's one of the biggest drawbacks of that 1721 motor. You're gonna be doing one pass, and you're gonna take it out to cool, guys. Alright, I tell you what, I'm gonna swap over to the next car. This is nuts, guys. This is nuts out here. <laughs> Gotta be taking the cars into the shade to cool off. Woohoo, boy! So, here we go, fellas. Let's get a quick pass in on this guy. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to go full bore. If you really want to see this car real, really go at it, guys, check out the other video I linked. Yeah, this car is awesome, man. Let's go. Stop! Whoa, this thing takes forever to stop. Ooh. Oh, yes. This thing is a blast, man. Nice little 3S pack in there, guys. Oh, yes. Let's see here. There we go. What's that? Hey. 87. <laughs> Got the same amount as the limitless. <laughs> what? all right okay 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 putting in some work right now guys uh i'm gonna swap over to some bigger batteries i'm gonna swap to uh forest on this guy run out first really quick i'm gonna run a limitless on 6s and then we'll run this guy on 6s get some quick passes in man this thing is super bumpy oh hit a piece of glass Oh, look at this thing bouncing everywhere. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Yo! Oh, yes. Alright, let's bring it back on cooler up. Run that limitless on 6S. Alright, so fellas, I already have my conclusion. Biggest, biggest, biggest difference between bashing on your 7 scale and your 10 scale is, of course, gonna be how much space you have. So if you have a huge wide open space like this guys 
go seven scale all day it's easier for you to see this thing is way more aggressive you can punch way more batteries on this thing and of course don't do like me like a silly boo-boo head like me and run a, a high-speed motor with high-speed gearing and bash of course I'm not prepared for bashing at all today I just grabbed my cars and went you probably want to do 6s a lower kV motor that way you have one more runtime two you still have the torque to spin out those tires and last but not least get tires that you can actually bash on guys oh man all right start i'm gonna go ahead and race currently on 6s uh all right we got the gps going start that up again oh back kicks out now back definitely kicks out now <laughs> all right i'm gonna take it up there and do a quick pass on success i'm hoping to at least touch 100 but we'll see it's a bunch of stuff in the road and we get all this stuff out of the way hopefully i don't hit a patch of glass and completely spin out the car <laughs> That took a while to stop. Oh, there's so much glass. Oh my goodness. So much glass. How much was that? That. Uh, one. I'd say one oh one oh five. One oh one. I'll take it. I'll take it for my bash day. Oh man, this cut like my adrenaline is going. Guys, you do not need. I would. Uh, let me not say that because everybody is different. But man, for me personally, guys, if you have a decent, solid, solid 100, 100 mile per hour car that you can push and get up there quick have nice punch nice acceleration nothing crazy that gets my heart already going if if 200 plus miles an hour does it for you guys then by all means by all means hats off to you guys because man oh man for me already 120 130 is already super quick all right we got Mr. Arlarlo over here cooling off. This guy is ready to rock and roll. We're gonna swap to Forest on this guy. I'm gonna run out Forest real quick. Let's see if we can get 90 something. And then we're gonna do six sets and see if we get, we can get 100. On this short, short pass. Oh yeah. I gotta hurry up before the camera dies. Start, step, read. Zero it out, start it up. All right, here we go. Let's take it up there. And then we're gonna do a quick pass. Here we go, it's down there. Don't crash. Oh, I need to turn on that gyro. That thing is wiggling like crazy. Whoa, guys, this car is so quick. Jeez. so quick guys oh man camera just died guys all right have to swap to the other one there we go yeah read what Ooh, 102 already guys yo and it's a super short pass oh my gosh yo i'm a, yo my heart is already going Ooh. Ooh -hoo. all right we gotta get this sucker on 6s real quick. Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's see if we can push a tiny bit more, just a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Famous last words guys. This thing is gonna get wrecked instantly, watch. So I got the stock Arlarlo. This one is a stock one. Stock, stock motor, stock gearing, um, stock receiver, and I'm running it on a forest. I don't have the lid on because the lid can't fit with that forest pack. <laughs> These tires are terrible. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the battery came off. 
Jimmy rigged a little thing of a thing of a jigger. Let's see if we can slide this thing a little. Oh my gosh, big patch of dirt. Oh, this thing slides. <laughs> this thing slides for sure. Oh, these tires are terrible. Oh. All right, guys, let's bring this one back in. See if we can get a last pass off the Arlalo on 6S. See if we can hit like one something. I don't know. I have zero expectations, man. Let's rock and roll, guys. Here we go. Oh, pulling. Whoa! That thing went under some crazy oscillation. I'm sure it was the dirt that was kicking up. Woo! Goodness gracious. Out here is super dusty too, guys. I'm sure that was nothing. Probably just hit 100. Oh my gosh. 98, that was even slower, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hold on a second now. All right, motor is pretty warm. We're going to do one more pass, start. Stop, read, sear it out, perfect, start it up. I'm gonna turn on the gyro some more, guys, wow. All right, we are straightened up. Oh, the wind came in, oh, all right. <sighs> How many bad signs do you need before you say, let's not do this? <laughs> let's go, oh man, all right, let's go. I, can't, I couldn't I couldn't get full throttle guys look at this I can't even see it where did it go I see it oh, it's coming back how many bad signs do you need before you say this is a bad idea <laughs> Woo! that was definitely slower guys I think I think that's it 102 is gonna be it uh, that success pack is really really heavy 103 okay I'll take that <laughs> I'll take that guys 103 is what she wrote all right all right all right fellas oh yes 10 scale 7 scale and another 10 scale this guy here is stock this guy here fully modified this guy here slightly modified we got 103 out of this we got I don't remember what out of that I wasn't really focused on how fast that goes because this is ridiculous this guy needs a ton of space if you're gonna be having that kind of fun. And of course, we got our, our, our normal little uh, basher right here with the trash tires in my opinion. But yeah, guys, so we got ourselves a comparison and from my perspective, if you have a small park, definitely go with a 10 scale. This thing is a blast and as you can see, it is just this thing, yo, with slight mods, this thing got up to 100 miles an hour and this is like a short. This is a short run right here, guys. My short little warehouse testing grounds is wide, so if I make a mistake, um, at least I can correct it. But yeah, man, this is so much fun. Just come out if you want a quick adrenaline hit. Take out your 10 scale, you can get it. This guy, when you're getting into some serious business, and you know, I love my infraction. Uh, you definitely need some rubber tires so it will slide around a whole lot better get some like grps well grps are pretty, probably too sticky but the hoons are pretty good like some silver hoons or or the white hoons yeah gonna be doing like some crazy sliding crazy drifting control yeah i love it guys this guy i don't know you got to do some work to the to the diffs i think um and get some probably some better tires i don't know this thing is it feels like it's so hard to control like to, to hold down a proper a proper slide or something i don't think it can go wrong with either i'm sure you guys knew that already but my choice is definitely gonna be the seven scale this thing is so aggressive it is it is so aggressive and it is the furthest thing away from a toy grade you could probably kind of mistake a 10 a 10 scale for a for a toy grade because of how small it is but yeah, you can't mistake this guy. This big chungy wongy. Yeah, when you send this thing, everybody wakes up. Everybody's like, what is that thing? It is so quick. I love it. All right, guys, that's it. Greg Soup signing out. Hope you all stuck around and you enjoyed the video. The 
silly, weird, wacky video. And make sure to keep an eye out for all the videos to come. We're gonna be doing some more of this crazy stuff, guys. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any of them. Take care and peace out. My goodness, it's such a it's such a terrible idea trying to trying to get foams to slide. Why are you doing this? It just doesn't wanna it just doesn't wanna slide, it just wanna hook. Woo! It's quick man. So aggressive. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. That jar doing work, boy.